This video shows that uh, how you respond in an ASP.NET Core web API um, that you only that you won't see the status text. So uh, here's my web application and here is my React um, React window and when I push my button here then I'm calling um, something in my website and I get the response here. That's what I said. Okay, here my response. I had said a put message and something happens in the uh, web server, uh, ASP.NET Core Web API dot, uh, dot .NET 5. So when I'm here, you will see now is here my response and I get an status uh, status with a status code, but Whatever you do, the status text is an, on an API uh, version not available anymore. So um, when we check the uh, when I check this article, my controller, then I tested a lot of stuff, uh, and finally I came to the result that it's only possible to set a state a status code. And from there you may set a different code, but now when, I, when we watched this, this error, there was not not the same result coming back, um, but nearly the same one when I say, okay, this is forbidden, for example. Um, status. Status forbidden, like this. Um, and when I go back to my edit version, then I would say here, uh, for example, now this is the code uh, and let's run it here. Uh, this says only it's, there's nothing coming back. And in <coughs> most tutorials, they say that you may change it in here in the status, uh, in the startup file, or when you previously um, worked in uh, MVC, um, then or in the code versions below, then you were able to say um, here something like this: uh, bad request and some text in in there. For example, here bad request and this is my the reason where why for so you get a result by 400 status uh, status 400, and this doesn't work anymore. Uh, and I said okay in, here in this uh, in the you may set in the startup file the services at MVC configure your API behavior uh, options. So this one also doesn't work in this point. So you shouldn't work too much on that. Simply go there and say, uh, say, okay, you, what you can do is not only saying bad request, that's okay, or you give the status code uh, and the message will not, never happen there. Uh, simply don't make a message there doesn't work. Simply say this one, uh, empty status code, and then give a code like this one, 400 and something else. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing in ASP. Something like this. And now you see status score is 403. Now when I go back to my application, I push my button and the button will come there. It should be something with, now this is 200, this is wrong. Uh, let's stop this for a moment and come back. Maybe, maybe I did not get to that point. Okay. I'm running my application, push a button. Now when I push the button, I come to this to my controller. Inside my of my controller I get where is it? Oh ah uh, this is my put version. OK, 
okay 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 uh something went wrong in there um ah because that's the stuff deleted okay i have to go back there again so come on here we'll say okay i need my product 58 that's my site now i jump there again now it's it's better now it comes to that point and it will say 403 for example status code 403 or you type an integer in there uh, which in our, which is on your own stuff and now when you come there you see that the status code is 200 <laughs> that's always when you make this uh, terrible stuff but it was working before uh, okay now this is a bad example status code status return status codes um, what maybe you should do it like this I tried a lot um, and it, if you send back um, if you send back something with your I don't know <laughs> I, uh, simply to say I don't know at the moment why this one doesn't work it worked sometimes with uh, status code object or all those different versions or result uh, result and then something like this but you are not able what I wanted to say in this point you're not able to get the status message status te te status text and what most examples say that when you're using an API you should use here um, you should deactivate this one uh, suppress map client errors to false but as I said as I mentioned it doesn't work now when we go there let's make it like this we don't need it you will see the same what's wrong now something uh, yep now we would say okay something like this uh, return return something with a text message everything wrong now I jump on there Say okay, start it again. Now I'm on my site. I click on there, it comes in there, and it will say okay, F10, F10, F10. Shum give a bad request error state five, uh, 400 and when we come now to our response you will see there's error status 400 but no message in there so um, at the moment there's no detailed information when you are when you're using the response with a text inside there so you can't use it like this and it's also not not the best way to do with uh, with a response with a JSON default JSON result uh, with without an error, so the status bar would be wrong then.